I'll share with you a word that I'm sure you will not like, at least most of you. The word is discipline. If you like discipline, then, you know, tap yourself on the shoulder because you're special. We don't like discipline. Most of us don't like discipline because it requires that we do the hard thing. We do uncomfortable things. We do unfamiliar things. We confine ourselves in a process that we don't really enjoy. So what do we do? We distract ourselves. We do whatever excuses we can use just to avoid cornering ourselves in what we call discipline. By default, we like easy things. By default, we like things that do not require energy. By default, that's how we're built, so that we can save energy. But that's bad. Why? Because how can you create progress without discipline? How can you think of leadership without discipline? How can you move forward? How can you learn? How can you exercise? How can you practice? How can you gain experience, right, without discipline? You can't do that. People with discipline are happier. Not happy, but happier. Why? Because with discipline comes less stress, comes less chaos, right? With discipline, you can achieve more goals. You can go become more, you become faster. You become more efficient, more productive. You can become less impulsive and take better decisions. I can go on and on and on with the benefits of discipline. And I can do the same with the damage that is caused by lack of discipline, like procrastination, like, you know, being stuck in bad, bad habits, you name it. You know maybe this better than I do. Now, the good news is that discipline could be learned. It's not easy, but it could be learned. And I see that it is absolutely necessary if you want to create significant progress. <laughs> Number one is remove temptations. So if you want to discipline yourself about not, you know, in not eating cookies, don't buy cookies. When you go to the supermarket, don't buy cookies. Because if you buy cookies and put them in the fridge, it's going to be much harder for you to discipline yourself in not eating cookies. So remove the temptation. Make it easier for yourself. The second one is take care of your mood. Because discipline is a matter of will. So when your blood, you know, sugar level in your blood goes down, you become angry, you become more impulsive, your, your will becomes weaker. So take care of your body. So make sure that you're eating well, you're eating healthy, and you're eating regularly. So you don't go through the spikes of up and down when it comes to your mood and sugar level. And that has a direct impact on your willpower and the ability of creating discipline and respecting it. The third one is that it's not going to feel good. Who likes to be confined in, a, in the prison of a process? You know, wake up every day, 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock, whatever, exercise every day. We don't like this by default. But the good news is that with time, if you stay with it, it's become easier because we have the blessing of habits and we are creatures of habit. And once discipline becomes habit, it becomes much easier. You know what I'm talking about. The fourth one is get support. You need people to help you because it's hard to confine yourself to a discipline, especially when it's a strict one. So there's nothing wrong in getting support, friends, family, expert support, professional support, whatever works with you, man, whatever it works. Just make sure that you have all what it takes to succeed in building discipline towards progress. And the last point is what is when you fail, start again. Because I'm telling you from now, you will fail. You will break these rules, you will break commitments, you will break promises, and that's part of human nature. I mean, imagine why you will do uh, New Year resolutions and most of them end up failing, because it's hard. So when you fail, start again. Remember this word. When I fail, I start again. It's like you fall. When you fall, we stand up. It's not going to be easy, but it's worth it. Self-leadership is about creating progress. Progress requires discipline, and discipline can be learned. Thank <music> you.